In this video we're going to see how to solve number pyramid problems. So the number pyramid we have here has a missing number on the bottom row and we're going to try and solve that um, by finding out what that number is. Now we could just try some numbers out and guess but that could take a long time especially if this isn't a whole number we might be guessing fractions or decimal numbers for a long long time. So we're going to see a method that gets us straight there. We've got three stages to solving this problem. We're going to form an equation, we're going to solve the equation and then we're going to check our answer works. So the first part we have to solve the we have to sorry form the equation. We don't know what this number is on the bottom row, so we're going to give it a name that's a letter, and as it's a number, um, we'll call it n for number. Okay. Um, we add these two numbers together to get the number in here. So if we add n and two together, we get n plus two. Similarly, here n plus seven, and here seven and three. Well, there's no n in this, so they just add up to 10. Then we carry on. n plus 2 plus n plus 7 is 2n plus 9. n plus n is 2n, 2 plus 7 is 9. n plus 7 plus 10 is n plus 17. Now in the top here, we've already got a number here, which is 38. And that must be made by adding these together. So if we add these together, we've got a 2n and an n makes 3n, and a 9 and a 17 makes 26. Okay, so our equation is 3n plus 26 must equal 38, since that's the number in the top. Right, now we need to solve this equation. Well, this is like an I think of a number problem, where n is the number. I think of a number, I multiply it by 3, I add 26 and the answer is 38. So the first thing I'm going to do to undo that is subtract the 26 that I added last. So I'm going to do that to both sides of the equations. I'll write it on there, both sides of the equation. So if I take 26 away from 38, I'm going to get um, 38 minus 26 is 12. And if I take 26 away from this, well, 3n plus 26 minus 26 is just 3n. So these two sides are still equal because I've taken 26 away from both of them. Now we've got, I think of a number, multiplied by 3 and the answer is 12. Well, to undo multiplying by 3, I divide by 3. So I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides of this equation. Um, 3n divided by 3 must be 12 divided by 3. Well, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 3n divided by 3 is just n. So we think that n is 4. Now let's check. Let's go to the final stage. 2, 4, 7, and 3. The 2, the 7, and the 3 we already knew. The 4, we now have worked out that we think this is the answer. 2 plus 4 is 6. 4 plus 7 is 11, 7 plus 3 is 10, 6 and 11, 17, 11 and 10, 21, 17, 21, 38, which is the number that we had in the first place. So we know that this is right and our missing number was indeed 4.